There's a new disease rumored to be infecting men across America, sex addiction. <laughs> the bad news, I'm a man, so I'm worried. The good news is, the drunk companies are fast at working developing another pill they can sell me for this latest fake mental disorder. More pills, that's just what we need. But until that new pill arrives, which promises to instantly shift the blame from your own crappy ethics to what the doctors will unanimously call a brain imbalance, I'd like you to consider this. Celebrity rehab. Look, no matter how many times you've cheated on your wife, or no matter how skanky the hoe you cheated with, you can always get your one-time get-in-a-jail-free card with one short week in sex addiction rehab at the low, low cost of just $39,500 per week. Now, if you're a celebrity, this simple public confession followed by a public admission to passages will do wonders to magically fix even the most injured reputation. <laughs> Sorry, Tiger. Now, sure, it won't actually do a thing to fix your actual problem, but do celebrities really want a solution? Or do they just want their endorsements back? <laughs> Celebrity or not, we all have the moral dilemma of whether or not to cheat or lie. Well, except for those guys. <laughs> they don't have much choice. <laughs> Take Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds always looks fit. He looks healthy. He looks tan. He's ripped. In fact, my girlfriend stares just a little too long when he's on my Men's Health magazine cover, which is like eight times. And I'm not a bit jealous. OK, a bit. But here's what I do know. I know that Ryan Reynolds has clearly spent more time at the gym than most of us, and he clearly made very specific health choices over the past two decades. He wakes up at 5 a.m. He says, got to go to the gym, honey. Right. When eating out, he says, hold the butter and put some fresh olive on my salad. I've got a six pack to keep in shape. In nature, Ryan Reynolds is like a cheetah. Compare that to the slow moving, dim winded sloth. Oh, oops, that's not a sloth. That's filmmaker Kevin Smith getting kicked off Southwest Airlines because <laughs> his butt is so bad it took up two seats. <sighs> Sorry. Look, sloth, fat man pants, logical mistake. Don't shoot the messenger. Now, clearly, Kevin Smith has made 20 years of an entirely different set of choices than Ryan Reynolds. Stay with me here. This is not a rant on diet. It's a rant on choices and consequences. I mean, does Kevin Smith wake up at 5 a.m. and hit the gym or hit the refrigerator? Does Kevin Smith say, dude, hold my dressing or dude, hold my soda? Let's face it. Our life is made up of small daily decisions, which after many years become pretty obvious to everyone but ourselves. <laughs> Sex addiction isn't a disease. It's a choice. It starts with a little choice to flirt. One kiss, one affair, one little lie, and boom! Next thing you know, you're hiring $10,000 hooking for a threesome after a golf tournament. <laughs> Happens, right? At least with an eating disorder, your belly hangs over your belt so everybody knows. <laughs> wow, with a moral disorder, it's your own little secret which can eat away with you for years, destroys your mental health, and more than a few marriages. So here's the moral. Don't be a moral sloth. The big difference between Fat Man Pants and Tiger Woods is Fat Man Pants is at least honest about his addiction. Thank you, Kevin. Now, he loves food. He loves pizza and beer, and he hates the gym. You know what? He has a hot wife, and she married a little fat guy, and that's clearly okay with me. Good on you, mate. I'm not upset with Kevin Fat Man Pants, not at all. In fact, you're okay in my book. You're no Ryan Reynolds, but you're okay. Now, how does this all relate to Tiger Woods and Jesse James? It's pretty simple. We can't see moral choices hanging over a celebrity's belt or forcing him to wear tennis shoes and fat man pants all year round, okay? Morality choices don't photograph near as easy as a big fat meat filled belly, duh. Now, occasionally, a photographer grabs a picture that tells the whole story. <laughs> Thanks, Nick Nolte. Ooh, that really does tell it. Even Sandra Bullock was fooled into thinking Jesse James was a bad boy turned good. Got it. Now, Jesse James was a bad boy, but he was a bad boy and a good liar. Eventually, your own moral ineptitude does spill over your proverbial belt, and the world sees your choices. Bless you, Sandra Bullock. Tiger Woods will tell you those $10,000 hookers cost him a whole lot more than money. Based on sponsorship alone, 
I'd say he had a series of $1 million screws that year. Ouch. That's an expensive habit. Now, Tiger and Jesse don't have a disease. There ain't no pill going to cure their sexual addiction. Since when does medical science cure moral ineptitude? Or is it simply a lack of discipline? Now, guys, if Ryan Reynolds can say no to cherry cola and ho-hos and hookers and skanky hoes, don't you think Ryan Reynolds doesn't get hot movie starlets throwing panties at him every day? I'm sure he does. Think again. The difference is Ryan Reynolds says, no, thank you. I got to get home to my wife, Scarlett Johansson, and I got to get up early to hit the gym. Nice going. Now, as far as I can tell, Ryan is a man of discipline and integrity. He does the right thing day after day. Now, maybe tomorrow TMZ will reveal Ryan's been banging everything with a skirt, and then, well, I'll have that on my face. But at least my belly won't be hanging over my belt. <laughs> Moral choices. That's what it's about. Don't buy into this psychiatric, blame-free society BS that you have a mental disorder called sex addiction. Perhaps it's not Jesse James' fault that he likes to bang skanky hoes, but it is his responsibility to his wife not to act on the impulse. It's not a disease, it's a choice. There isn't a Tiger Woods pill for infidelity, and there never will be. You don't have to eat second yum yum donuts. Stop at one donut! Stop surfing Craigslist for erotic massages when your wife's out of town. Here's an idea. Be honest. Keep your word. It's not a sexual addiction. They're sexual choices. Now, you might not like it, but that is my official opinion.